Welcome back to the CryptoBot channel, everyone. My name is Josh, and right now, the price of ETH is currently retesting this important horizontal line of support, while the price of Bitcoin is potentially forming a larger bearish pattern at the moment. And so I'll be talking more about that later in this video, so definitely stick around. First of all, just giving you a quick update on the daily Bitcoin chart. And right now, the price of Bitcoin is still finding support along this massive range of support coming into play in between around 18,500 and 19,000. And while the price of Bitcoin is still finding support along this price range at the moment, we're also seeing the daily Bitcoin RSI still finding support. Although as of right now, it is very close to potentially breaking to the downside. But remember, that would still need to be confirmed with a daily kennel close once the RSI actually breaks this upwards turning line of support. And if you're looking at the daily Bitcoin MACD, this right now is showing very low momentum to either direction because as of right now, the histogram within the MACD indicator is basically flatlining. And so due to the very low momentum at the moment shown in the MACD indicator, and also due to the fact that the RSI has not yet broken to the downside, although it is showing low bullish momentum, this is still pointing towards perhaps a little bit more choppy sideways price action on the daily time frame. But like I said in my last video, this choppy sideways price action will likely not last much longer due to the fact that the price of Bitcoin is forming a much larger pattern on the three-day Bitcoin chart, which once again, I talked about in my last video. So if you missed that video, definitely check it out. But anyway, heading straight into the eight-hour Bitcoin chart, and right now the price of Bitcoin has further declined after that rejection from this previous line of support which is now acting as new resistance. And this line of resistance now is coming into play at around 19.7 to 19.8K. And once again, as I also mentioned in my last video, this rejection from this previous line of support, which is now acting as new resistance, is technically a shorter term bearish signal, which was telling us we're due to see perhaps a little bit more downside price action, which is pretty much exactly what we've seen since yesterday. And now as for support levels on the eight hour time frame, we do have a bit of support around here based on these eight hour candle closes. And that support line is sitting close to $19,000 per Bitcoin. But if the price of Bitcoin confirms a break back below 19,000, then that increases the probability of the price of Bitcoin falling back down towards this previous price target for this rising wedge pattern, which is sitting close to 18.3K. But it is important to mention that as of right now, this price target isn't technically an active price target on the chart because this pattern has already played out we've already hit that price target. And so this would just be another level of potential support to the downside if 19,000 breaks. And another reason why that $19,000 level of support is important for the price of Bitcoin is because as we can see here on the eight hour time frame, we're potentially forming a head and shoulders pattern right now in the price of Bitcoin. And we can see this more clearly on this eight hour Bitcoin chart. Obviously we have a clear head and shoulders pattern that is still forming right now. So it hasn't actually been confirmed because in order for this pattern to actually confirm and activate a technical price target to the downside, we would first need to see this right shoulder complete with a confirmed break below this neckline, which once again is sitting pretty close to 19,000. And if that happens, if we do end up seeing the price of Bitcoin confirm a break below this neckline that I just mentioned, then that would set up a technical price target for this head and shoulders pattern at around 17,500, which is almost exactly where the June low is sitting at, where we do have some previous support. But I want to make it clear that as of right now, that $17,500 price target is not actually an active price target right now, while the price of Bitcoin is still above this neckline. And of course, as always, it is important to see some confirmations if we do end up seeing the price of Bitcoin break below 19000 And one of the most common ways to confirm a break of a significant level is to see candle closes on the other side of that significant level. Because otherwise, if the price of Bitcoin it simply breaks that level and then recovers before the candle close, we simply end up with a candle wick to the downside rather than a break to the downside. And also another confirmation method if we break to the downside is of course seeing a retest flipping this previous support into new resistance. That there would be a bearish confirmation signal. But it is important to mention that we don't actually need to see a retest. It's just if we do see a retest that can give us some more confidence in the move to the downside. But anyway, as of right now, 
Now, considering this pattern hasn't yet technically completed with a confirmed break below the neckline, this is simply just a pattern to be aware of while it is still technically in its formation phase at the moment. But anyway, zooming into the four hour Bitcoin chart, right now, the price of Bitcoin is still finding some support along this horizontal Fibonacci level, which is sitting at around 19.1K approximately. And as for other levels of support and resistance in the short term for the price of Bitcoin, these have not changed since yesterday. So we still have some short term support at around 18.7K if we break 19K and anything below that, then we could still expect some short term support at around 18.2K approximately, which is pretty close to that previous level of support, which I talked about earlier at around 18.3K. But anyway, heading back to the four hour Bitcoin chart, and we still have some short term resistance at this Fibonacci level, which is sitting at around 19.8K and anything above that level, then I would expect the next resistance for the price of Bitcoin in the short term to come into play at around 20.3K. And if you're looking at the four hour Bitcoin price oscillators, these haven't really changed since yesterday. So right now they're still pointing towards perhaps a little bit more choppy sideways price action in the immediate short term for the price of Bitcoin. But anyway, heading straight into the Ethereum part of this video, this right here is the daily Ethereum to US dollar chart. And right now the price of ETH is currently just hanging on to this upwards trending line of support, which is sitting at around 1280 to 1290. But don't forget in order for the price of ETH to confirm a break below this line of support, we need to see confirmation such as a daily candle close below this line of support. And so as of right now, at least at the time of recording this video, the price of ETH has not yet confirmed a break below this uptrend line of support. And so once again, since yesterday, nothing much has happened on this chart. So if you're new to the channel and you want to know what we could be expecting next for the price of ETH on the daily timeframe, then check out my last video that I posted yesterday. But anyway, heading straight into the four hour Ethereum to US dollar chart, because right now the price of ETH is currently finding some support along this horizontal level right here, which is sitting at around 1270 to 1280. And if the price of ETH confirms a break below that level, then I would expect a drop down towards around 1220 as the next short term level of support. But if the price of ETH can actually hold this horizontal level of support at around 1270 to 1280 and see a bit of a bounce here, then the horizontal level of resistance that I'll be looking at is sitting at around 1330 approximately. And then if the price of ETH breaks above that level, then I'll be looking closer towards around 1370 to 1380. And as for the four hour Ethereum price oscillators, once again, these haven't really changed since yesterday. So they're still pointing towards a little bit more choppy sideways price action, relatively speaking. And so basically in the shorter term, as in at least over the next day or so, I wouldn't exactly be expecting a move like this and instead more movements like this, for example. But believe it or not, you can actually make a lot of money in crypto during a choppy sideways price range like this, if you know the right strategies. And if you want to find out those simple yet effective strategies, then check out these videos popping up right here on your screen. The video in the top left of your screen shows you how to make money if the price is going either up or down. And the video in the bottom left of your screen shows you how to make money in a choppy sideways price range like this. But anyway, that's everything that I have to say for today. I really hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you all in the next video.